Hi brothers and sisters, I wanted to come on and share a word and pray. But first of all, I hope you're okay. I hope you've had a rested evening. Amen. So first of all, I'm in uh, Proverbs 3 from verse... Uh, I wanted to focus on verse... Well, I'll do it from verse 7 actually. It says, do not be wise. So that's Proverbs 3 from verse 7 to verses 10. So, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord with reverent awe and obedience and turn entirely away from evil. It will be health to your body, your marrow, your nerves, your sinews, your muscles, all your inner parts and refreshment physical well-being to your bones. Honour the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of your crops, income. Then your barns will be abundantly filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. And I'll carry on down and it says, My son, do not reject or take lightly the discipline of the Lord. Learn from your mistakes and the testing that comes from his correction. Through discipline okay and I'll leave it there but I wanted to focus on there's, there's a lot to say it there but I wanted to focus on um, verses uh, 9 where it talks about um, honoring the Lord with your wealth that your with your first fruits the first fruits of your income and it says with the first fruits of all your crops income then your barns will be abundantly filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. That's what I wanted to um, focus on today. And a lot of people, and I've seen this attitude, and I was one of them who had this attitude before I realized and got the revelation from the Lord about tithing, which was to, to give and honor God, that in that honoring the Lord and relying on his promise, um, in Malachi 3 which also talks about tithing which says you know um, honor God with your income as well as well as Proverbs 3 here so um, from I think it's Malachi 3 from verses uh, 10 uh, I'll put that underneath here in the description of this video as well but I used to be someone that didn't really tithe I was a Christian but I never tithe and I didn't think I needed to to be blessed because I'm already blessed why do I need to tithe but I had a revelation um, the Lord brought something to my attention he rebuked me and and showed me that through his word that you need to tithe because first of all because the Lord said so it's to honor his word honor him and with our money and also um, the promise that the Lord you know that comes from that the blessings that come from that and I was in the word once Malachi 3 actually and where it said um, that we are cursed with the curse um, this is what the Lord showed me uh, that oh, basically where it says you are cursed with the curse because you withhold what's rightfully mine you are cursed with the curse because you withhold what's rightfully mine and God forbid that be anybody's portion who watches this in Jesus name Amen and because you'll be people that give to the Lord I'm sure you already do but it's just for those that need this word it's just for this word it's just for those that need this word and so you probably already know this and you already think okay I already tithe but this is just for someone today um so when I got this revelation first of all I repented and you know I I got the revelation I understood that actually we are not giving to a person although when we give we give to a person or ministry or church uh, or body of people or organization whoever it may be the Lord's put on your heart to bless but the Lord showed me that you know he gave me the revelation that actually it's honouring God and it's given into his kingdom, like he says, so that there may be food in my house, that there may be food in my house. It's all to unto the Lord. When it's in the body of Christ, it doesn't matter who it's to, it's all unto the Lord. 
fit into the kingdom of God, into the uh, work of God. And the Lord saying, give that there, be, that there may be food in my house. And so it's not given to a person, although we do. It's unto the Lord, it's to honour God. And so I just wanted to come on and share that today because I think, I just felt to, to share that. Um, because I think there's a lot of uh, different opinions when it comes to tithing um, with within the body of Christ. And I think, you know, people think, okay, I'm not going to be cursed. God is not a God that curses, you know. Um, I, I'm a child of God. I've been bought with the blood of Jesus. I am live for the Lord. But the Lord is saying in, in Malachi 3 and also here, you know, there are blessings that come from honouring God with our money. It's showing that we're putting God first and that we are honouring him with our money and that money has no influence or uh, hold over us that we are honouring the Lord's word, putting him first, honouring God. So it doesn't matter who we tithe into, you know, and, and what, whoever we give to within the body of Christ, it's all unto the Lord. And the Lord says, you know, you will reap that harvest. You will reap a harvest from the Lord Jesus himself, from God himself, you know, for honouring God, wherever that may be. It might be to an orphanage. It might be to um, wherever it may be, a church. It's the Lord you're giving to, you're not giving to man. You know, you're giving unto the Lord, you're honouring God. And you're saying, Lord, I'm giving into your house that there may be food. And, I'm, and I am, you know, standing on Malachi 3 here. I think it's from verses 10 or 9, from 9 or to 12. And, you know, I'm honouring you, Lord. So I hope this one, you know, this is someone's message today. And I know that this really, you know, um... When the Lord gave me a revelation of this word and made me understand the importance of tithing and not skipping, and He changed my whole attitude concerning tithing, a complete turnaround. That's what um, happened when the Lord gave me this revelation. It was a moment from God where the Lord showed me, you know, you don't give because you have to give. You don't give because it's something you have to do. But you're saying, oh, I'll give this. Then there you go. No, it's with joy that we give. We just to honour God and say, thank you, Lord. I honour you with my income, Lord God. You know, and I'm putting you first. And this is my tenth or whatever you're led to, to sow into the ministry of God, into the church of God. So it's so important that we do tithe, you know, for those that don't, uh, you know, tithe already. Uh, for those that don't tithe already and you are like me, um, you know, a bit, on and off with it and my attitude isn't quite right if you were like me i want to encourage you today you know there's a blessing that comes from when we honor the word of god when the lord says to obey and give to uh into his house that there may be food and so you know you know i hope this blesses someone today to know that and i pray just for revelation right now lord pray for those that need that touch lord to have that revelation to have that turnaround in attitude and to know, Lord, that, you know, we are given unto you, Lord, not to man. It's not something, it's not a chore. We do it out of joy, honouring you out of love, Lord. I pray you would just touch the person this word is for today and that it would reach the right person today, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. First of all, before I go, let's pray uh, for the sick. Let's pray. Uh, thank you, Lord, for uh, your touch on those who are sick right now, Lord God. We pray for healing for those who are trusting you for healing, Lord. Those who are still believing you for healing and haven't seen the promise yet, Lord, I pray. Um, give them, uh, you would just encourage them. You're our greatest encourager, Lord. Give them hope. Help them, Lord, uh, to know that you're working, that you are moving, that even though their uh, healing is gradual, you are moving, Lord. You are moving and you are answering their prayers as they hold on in faith, taking hold of your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be encouraged today. The Lord, you know, if you're being um, gradually healed, uh, know that the Lord um, is moving and is healing you and will do what he said. He'll promise, you know, his promise will come to pass. And I, um, I've been there, you know, where the Lord's, He's gradually healed me and and both instantly and gradually. And the gradual one was where the Lord touched me and um, 
I was just gradually healed, like I just said. And then the other one was an instant healing where something was instantly straightened. I think I've shared this before. And um, so the Lord is just when you're going to give up, just when you think, oh, I've been believing the Lord, though. Oh, but that's not for me. Yes, it's for you. If you're a child of God and you confess the Lord, if you're a part of the bride, if you're this message and this channel is for the bride and it's for the people of God. And if you're someone who's been believing the Lord and you're still, sorry, and you're believing God and you're still standing in the Lord, standing on his word, you are going to be healed. You will be restored. You'll be, you know, the Lord is doing it. The Lord will work. He will do it for you. He's gonna. He did it for me. He will do it for you. It is for all of us. No one's. You know. It's not just for some people. It's for all. So now, as you believe the Lord, it's not in vain. You're waiting for, on the Lord. You're trusting Him. You're holding on, and the Lord sees that, and He's gonna honor that. Your faith. You know what moves God is our faith, and I know sometimes we go weak in that, and we've all been there. You know, and so keep on holding on. Don't stop believing the Lord. Know that he's a God of miracles, signs and wonders. If your healing is gradual, don't be disheartened. Don't be disheartened. Know that the Lord is doing it for you. You're known by name. He's, your name is written in the palm of his hand and that he loves you dearly. So much that he died on the cross for you and had you in mind when he died on the cross. That you would be free, that you would be healed. That you would be set free from curses and all 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 um uh, sicknesses so be encouraged today and hold on hold on don't give up hold on hold on to hope and his name's jesus and he never lets you down he's never leave us he's never going to leave us or forsake us and when he says believe and you'll see my glory that's exactly what's going to happen in an instant in a suddenly just when you think you know, oh, I've been believing the Lord for this long, though, and for that long. How can I, you know, maybe he's not hearing me. Yes, he is. Hold on. And don't give up. And you're going to see the glory of God. You're going to see as you confess and do your declarations and confess that you're healed. Say, I decree and declare I'm healed. And when you take a stand, the enemy sometimes will test you and say, oh, but you, look, you're feeling that pain. How can you be healed? You stand on the word of God. And you say, I'm healed. And you take that step of faith, do something you couldn't do before, even if it's a little thing, and you'll see how the Lord will honour that, your faith. If you confess, I decree and declare I'm healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross that I could be healed, and I receive the power of the finished work of the power of the cross in my body right now, name it, and be healed, walk, and do something that you couldn't do before. You'll see his glory, he says, only believe, and you'll see my glory, his glory, his power, in his name, in Jesus' name.